What's up, everybody? I am back playing even more Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark. I got my butt kicked in the last episode, but I'm going to carry on. I'm going to go to the Serpentine Garden. Oh, man, it's a garden. They're going to have more grass Pokemon. I'm having flashbacks already. Okay, let's just fight. How cute is my Pixwee? It's probably pretty cute. I do remember this Pokemon being pretty darn cute. Oh, look at that background with the flowers. Ah, oh, this is a good game. Let me tell you. Oh, it does look like Pixwee actually changes its color based on the gender as well. Cool. I'm down to see a lot more of that in this game. Just make it so that way every <laughs> every boy Pokemon has a little bit of a blue, and every girl Pokemon in that place has a little bit of a pink. I don't know. I mean, they could use other colors, too. There's more to boys and girls than blues and pinks. You can quote me on that. Um, Bubble Beam is just about better than Bubble in every single way, so I'll take it. <laughs> the only thing would be the PP difference, but I don't really think that I'm ever going to need to dip into that. Cool. Easy peasy. Oh, do I get to fight wild po- oh, I do. That's so cool. I really do appreciate that. That's something that I think that should happen in more Pokemon games. Like, different types of grass, different looks to the grass. Like, this isn't just tall grass, it's a flower field now. And that's just- that's such a cool touch. I appreciate this. Speaking of things I appreciate, I appreciate that silver powder. Um, that's right, by the way. I had a mystic water to give to Tadpole. Tadpool. And Silver Powder raises bug type moves. I don't have any bugs, so I'll just keep that in the in my inventory. I was thinking about saying throwing it into the trash, but who knows? I might get some strong bug Pokemon later. Oh man, I don't know why I'm like messing up all my words. You ever have those days where you just can't say anything right? I can't talk no good, you know? I can bubble beam though. Let's take that. I'm excited for Tadpool to evolve and maybe be less... Uh, one-shottable? Him getting one-shotted really chapped my khakis. Where are these gardens? Oh, what? That was a fight? She was walking around, though. I kind of don't like it when trainers that you fight walk around, if that makes any sense. If they're walking, in my mind, that signifies that they don't want to fight. And then, uh, lo and behold, I talked to her, and then... Oh, well. I mean, it's more experience, so I'm fine for that. Lavin Seed is gonna get turbo destroyed. <laughs> your grass, your fairy... It's times four. Really, just uh, get bodied, kid. What a great battle. It was okay. Don't uh, don't overhype it. It was an okay battle. Potion. My favorite. Uh, do you have anything for me, Tadpool? Oh, you do. Super repel. Nice. I mean, it's not a nugget, but we'll take it. Good job, Tadpool. I'll pet you on the head now. Oh. Wait, I want to see the little love thing. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, just, just the dot dot dots. Okay, he just nods. Huh. Are there any more uh, items around to be found? My bugs won't be defeated. Yes, they will. Oh my gosh. It's kind of crazy how all the NPC trainers are always so confident. I kind of like it, actually. You go to fight them, and they're like, I'll never lose. Go, level 7. I'm like, come on. You gotta be accustomed to losing in this universe if that's all you've got. Jumple? I don't think I've seen this one before. Oh, is that the evolution of Stick It? He's kind of cool looking. That wasn't super effective, so... What is he? Does he bug, uh... Something else? Well, he, I mean, he must be. Unless he's just bug and poison isn't super effective against bug, that's probably the case. Oh, that must be the gym leader down there. I can tell because she has a unique sprite and colored hair. I don't know why, but in a lot of games, when they want to make, like, a main character girl, they give her colored hair. Hello, I'm Donna, and you are? Yeah, you had purple hair, so you must be an important NPC. Like our friend who has pink hair. Oh, you are Camu. Nice to meet you. You are Camu. That's me. I was just relaxing here in the gardens. It's so peaceful and beautiful here, it helps me unwind after a tough gym battle. After you lost. <laughs> this garden always reminds me of when I was a kid. I'd water the roses here while my dad tried to find bug-type Pokemon. Ah, those were the days. Oh, you're wanting to battle. Well, I guess that would be fun. I'll head back to the gym now. <laughs> That's all it took? Okay. I'm glad I didn't have to, like, jump through any hoops for her, you know, run any errands. Want to see my awesome? It's probably not that awesome, but I'll take a look. I'll peek. But, um, I guess in a way that's paralleling uh, Misty, in a sense, where you have to go find her. I do like this. I, 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 I do agree with the usage of um, kind of, like, red and blue style, like 
not not like plot advancement tools to say, but kind of just like events where oh the gym leader's out of the gym and you gotta go find her, you know, stuff like that. Instead of just always walking into the gym and then being there, kind of mixing it up a little. Although this is the first gym, so they've already mixed it up. Speaking of mix it up, I'm gonna go uh, mix it up with these fools up in here. I'm gonna kick some butt now. Wait, what typing is she? She must be grass. She must be. Yo, champ of the making. This is your first time in a gym. Oh my god. Then you have to know that you are only allowed to battle the leader with the same amount of Pokemon as the leader. What? What is that rule? I don't know about that. What are you talking about? If you have more in your party, you have to choose them before. That's kind of cool. Okay, then. The leader of this gym, Donna, uses poison-type Pokemon. Grass-type and bug-type attacks don't work well against poison. I'm poison. Well, I'm about to be poison, actually. She's using three Pokemon for her battles, so you can choose up to three as well. The gym here is like a maze of rose hedges and trees, so be careful that you don't get poisoned on their thorns. Oh, but I'm sure... I think they spelled poisoned wrong. That should be O-N-E-D... Whatever. But I'm sure you will find your way to Donna. Or maybe not. Ha <laughs> Maybe this will help you beat her. Ooh. Thank you, Mr. Man. Well, news turns. That's the end of the conversation. So if she's poison, it might actually be a good time for me to train up Monkey. Oh, he's only level five, though. I wonder if I should go beat up some uh, wild Pokemon real quick with my Monkey. Monkey, what do you have to say for yourself? Monkey's singing and humming. Oh, he's a little cutie is what he is. I'm going to win my first ever badge. My cheap up is grass, which means it has a disadvantage against poison. I could have just talked to that guy to figure out what typings. Oh, yeah. Can I uh, just leave? Cool. <laughs> if I wanted to, I could just... Whoa. What's this? What are all these spiderwebs doing here? Can we cut? Oh, you use cut to cut down spiderwebs? That's cool. Oh, so I really can't advance. <gasps> and they did the thing that I like. They used yellow Pokeballs for TMs. I love that. It's very simple to do. Like, just editing the sprite to change it from red to yellow. So it makes such an important distinction. Whenever I see that, my brain just goes... Bruh, and I, like, instantly want to prioritize that. Okay, well... I guess I'll uh, train up my Moonkiss a little bit. Oh, man. Let's see if Moonkey can even take this guy on. I don't know if he can. Come on, baby. Look at that damage. It's not very good. Okay. Hmm. At least it's lowering his attack and not his special attack. That would be a problem. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, baby. Come on, Moonkey. Get him. Yeah. Yeah, I think Moonkey's going to be a very good investment. Oh, look at that! Holy crap! Wow! I did not expect that. And I am pleasantly surprised. If he... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I traded for him, so he's getting the boosted. Duh. Oh, man, that boost is kind of a crazy deal. Kind of a crazy big deal. Wow. Yeah, he's going to be uh, kicking butt in just a little bit. Oh. I do like um, how it's going pretty fast, at least. One thing that I'm always afraid of when I do these Pokemon playthroughs is taking time to grind. I even I had to do it in Uranium once or twice. And whenever I do the grind, I always, like, skip it or edit it. Oh, look at that. I edit it out. No, okay. I thought I was going to die. I edit it out because I always find it to be, like, not interesting. You don't want to listen to me, like sit there and talk while I just run back and forth training my wild Pokemon for like a half hour. Although maybe you do. Maybe? Okay, what if I did it like this? I'm just thinking out loud here while I'm uh, training and running to the Pokemon Center. What if I made a grinding episode where I trained up my Pokemon to be like the appropriate level? But um, grinding episodes, instead of being like episode 44 and episode 45, would be like episode 44.5. And it's just like however long it takes for me to uh, become strong enough. And I, it wouldn't be, like, my only video of the day. It would be, like, I don't know. I would upload that and then upload the episode, like, immediately afterwards or something. So that way, it wouldn't be just one grinding episode for the day. But it'd be, like, 30 minutes of just me running back and forth going, uh... I mean, for Uranium, it took, like, an hour, honestly. I was just running back and forth and, like, watching YouTube videos or, like, watching Hulu or something. Just, uh, watching shows while training up my Pokemon. Although, I guess if I was watching shows while doing it, I couldn't really record it and put it in a video, so... Ah, oh well. I'm just thinking out loud here. What do you guys think? Would you like to see me grind, or would you just like to see me edit it out and just get on with it? Because I've assumed that you guys don't want to see the grind, but I could be totally wrong. What if you do? I mean, I wouldn't. <laughs> but I'm an impatient asshole. Look at me. What am I doing? I'm just playing Pokemon. What am I going to do? Speaking of being an impatient asshole, I... 
am starting to feel impatient right now. So after Mookie levels up to level 8, which he should after this... Oh, I'm going to go fight that gym leader now. He's pretty good. He's level 9. He's pretty strong. I'm going to save. And we're going to see how strong her Pokemon are. I'm willing to bet that Moonkey could at least take out one of her Pokemon. Maybe two. It depends on how many poison type moves she wants to use. Although, if there are other trainers, which there are, yes! Moonkey's going to get some experience today. Whew. Let's see if you're ready for a gym battle. You know I am ready for a gym battle. I've just been training up my Moonkey. Oh, look at that background. That's kind of cool, too. I kind of don't like how plain the wall looks in the background. But, I think it's passable. I like the booshes. Holy crap! I didn't even get to comment on how cool that Pokemon looked because he's already dead in one hit. Covet? Uh, do I want to learn it? What is Covet? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Do I get rid of Headbutt? No, because it's better than Headbutt, but it's a, it's a stealing held item, so that's pretty good. I mean, Headbutt's already my normal physical, and I don't really feel like I'm going to be stealing very often. And I'm going to save that Tail Whip slot for something else. Yeah, that poison Pokemon was looking pretty cool. He did kind of look like a Heartless, almost, <laughs> from Kingdom Hearts. Or, no, he looked like one of the beginning Unversed from uh, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep there. Whoa, I like this guy too! Look at him! He's so cute! Why are all the Pokemon so friggin' cute in this game? I love his little eyes, I love his little cheeks, I love his little froggy face and his little tail. His little uh, leaf tail. Man! There's just a bunch of cuties. I already said it. But god, this game is just full of cuties. Wow. Wow, you're good. It's not me, it's all Moonkey. So, I could use a potion. Eh, whatever, I don't need to run back. The hoarder in me just wants to save up all of my items and never use them and just run back to the Pokemon Center. But, in the interest of time, I'll pop a potion. And then just get right back to the next battle. I could probably beat the gym leader before this episode's over. Go, Spydox! You fool, you've announced to me what your team is going to be at the start. Oh, it's gonna be easy anyway. Gosh, the battle backgrounds are so nice in this game. So is Spydox Dark Poison? If he is, no, he's gotta be Bug Poison. He's gotta be. Yeah, there's no way. I'm overthinking that. He was a Black Widow, which made me think, like, maybe he's dark. He had, like, a lot of black in the sprite. My Spydox lost. I wish that you guys had more than one Pokemon each. I wanted to train up my Moonkey some more. Alright, let's go, Donna. You wanna die today? Actually, no, I'm just gonna knock- I'm just gonna beat your gym battle. I'm not killing anybody. <laughs> okay. Hey, Kimu, I'm glad you came. Well, this is the gym. Well, my gym, I guess. This used to belong to my dad, so I just started growing my roses here. I've loved poison-type Pokemon since I was born. They can be tough, but beautiful, too. Just like how every rose has its thorns. Just like the song. Every rose has its thorn. Just like every fucking you gon' die. Choose up to three Pokemon. I choose... Munkus. Doink. It's really hard to tell the difference between, like, what's selected. Like, the dark... I don't know, it doesn't pop as much as it should. Anyway. Monkey, Tadpolio. <sighs> oh, Zappino, I guess, because if all her Pokemon are poison, there's no sense in me bringing on a... Uh, look at that poison background. There's no sense in me bringing a grass-type Pokemon to this, so sorry, cheap. Cheap, cheap, Yulon. Donna would like to battle. Go to Dart. Oh, look at him. I'm gonna kill him in two hits. Hit number one. As long as he doesn't kill me now. Sludge. You fool! No! That's not good. Ow. Alright, please be faster, Monkey. Do it! Yeah! That's my boyo. Okay, so that means right now I can afford to use a turn to heal Monkey, which I'm gonna need to do. Ow. Yeah. Uh, Spydox. For this one, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch to Tadpool. I'm confident that Tadpool can 1v1 Spydox. It won't be a problem. This should two-shot him, I'm thinking. Or a one-shot! Yes! That's just what I needed. That earns me another turn where I can sacrifice my poor Zappino to heal Monkey. Sorry, Zappino, but your life is, uh... Your life is a potion. Oh. I, I think I'm, uh... I'm trying a little bit too hard in this fight. Because that's only a level 12 Fiva. What is that, anyway? Is that Poison Fairy, I wonder? That's kind of cool looking. It almost looks like a, uh... Like a smoochum, like a little baby jinx. Alright, I'm gonna try for it. I'm gonna try for it. Let's go, Moonkey. I believe in you. What is this music, too? Oh, shit. That's a dark move? Is she poison dark? 
Monkey, you ignored orders. That's the wrong move. Monkey, you little asshole. Oh my gosh. I sacrificed. Okay, I'm gonna heal again. And this is probably the wrong... Oh, this music's pumping now. This is probably the wrong call, but... Yeah, they're just gonna keep spamming punishment and I'm gonna be dead. Monkey, why did you do that? Um, yeah, you're dead, right? Yeah, you're dead. <sighs> Come on, Monkey. Why'd you disobey me? I need to get a gym badge just so my Pokemon will obey me. Okay, let's uh, kick some ass. So they were using a dark type move, so they're probably poison dark, which means I'm just gonna spam water. I've already got the mystic water too, so this might be a one shot. Oh, ho, 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 yes it is. Oh, Tadpool, I need a bit more training. No, I need a bit more training. You need more than a bit. You need a lot more training. How are you a gym leader? Even though I lost, that was a good battle. I've got a lot more to learn, it seems. I'm happy to give you this. Whoa, they got the 3D badges from Luca. That's a very good script. You should go install it. Look, look how good it is. Oh my god, oh my god. That's the official gym badge of Serpentine City, the Thorn Badge. Oh, take this too. 102 Fever. What? So it must be a poison type move, but what's it do? It has a chance of making a foe become burned with a fever. What? Say what? That's good. That's cool. Thanks for the battle. Good luck on your journey. So in a way, it's kind of like Scald, but for poison. A poison Scald, if you will. Um, I could maybe even teach that to Tadpool. What's the uh, strength on it? Is it a physical or a special as well? This is important. Oh, Tadpool can't even learn it because he's not poison type yet. Once he evolves, I'm calling it, he becomes water poison. There's no way he doesn't, right? He's got her. He's, he's, oh, shit, Rodney, what, I, I'm not ready to fight. What? Oh, Hey, how'd your battle go? It was okay, I kicked her butt. You won? Wow! He's saying wow because I've lost him twice now, so he kind of expects less of me. That's kind of mean, Rodney, but I also kind of understand it, so I'll let it slide. That's a cool badge. Yes, it is. It's 3D. I'll go battle Donald for my gym badge now, but you should head back over to the trainer school and see what it is that Mr. Bella has for winning the gym match. I'll catch you later. It's cut. It's, it's cut. It's... It's cut. I'm calling it right now. There's no way it's not cut. I mean, come on. Come on, man. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest? Yes. Okay. Thank you, nurse. I appreciate you very much. We hope to see you again. I always thought it was kind of messed up that they said we hope to see you again. Like, the only reason I'm in here is because my Pokemon are injured, so it's like... I mean, I guess they're glad that they can care for my injured Pokemon, but in a sense, it's almost like, we hope your Pokemon get injured again. Eh, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's better than them being injured and me not going to the Pokemon Center. Hey, Mr. Bella, what do you have to do? Uh, what do you gotta say? He goes, Ah, uh, you're back. And what's that? The gym badge. Congratulations. Oh my god. Now, as I said before, I don't want to do any more accents. I'll just talk like normal. <laughs> I will give you something that will help you with your journey. But seeing as how you managed to get the gym badge so easily, I would like you to battle my students. Oh, come on. More. It may help you, as well as them, become better trainers. After you defeat them, I'll give you that special item I promised. Oh, there, there's like four little kids. You can cause a Pokemon to have a status condition. I'll show you. No, you won't, bitch. What's your name? School kid Toby? Man, Toby. <laughs> you don't know shit. Dang, they got level 11s up in here? That's like gym leader status. Their highest level Pokemon was level 12. I was kind of expecting a level 13 or maybe even a 14. I don't know, maybe that's just like a slight balance tweak. How dare you poison my monkey? How dare you do exactly what you said you were gonna do, goddamn Toby? Die. You still beat me. Yeah, it's cause monkey's a god. Whoa, what the? Dude, he's becoming Super Saiyan Monkey back there. He's like got a Dragon Quest pep up in the background there. The antidote will heal your Pokemon if they're poisoned. So when he becomes poisoned, he glows neon purple. That's kind of cool, actually. I wish my car was poisoned. Um, there you go, Monkey. Let me uh, antidote you up too. I mean, I got these items. Might as well use them so I don't have to run back to the Pokemon Center every time. There we go. He's no longer neon. If a Pokemon holds a berry during battle, the berry can help them with a status condition or even heal them. I'll show you. They're telling me all these things I already know. Honestly, there should just be like a, have you already played a Pokemon game before option? I mean, it really ties into my point of me just being an impatient person in general, but I don't know. I kind of like it when games support my impatient tendencies, 
when games enable me to be continuing my life as an impatient person. And I'm recognizing this is not a fault of the game, and it's more of a fault of myself, but going and talking to all these trainers and then having them being like, uh, did you know Pokemon can hold berries? I mean, once again, it's not a fault of the game, it's a fault of me, because all of these games are teaching you from the perspective of if you've never played a Pokemon game before, which is very nice. That's very good on the game. This game is very good. It's just, I don't... I don't need to. I don't need to be taught that Pokemon can hold berries. You know, if your Pokemon is paralyzed, it may not be able to attack. I'll give you no. Don't paralyze my monkey. Leave my monkey alone, please. Reyna, how dare you? Ella Critter. Let me guess. They're gonna use uh, uh, Thunder Shock. Oh, okay. I was gonna guess Thunder Wave, but I would have guessed wrong. Thun oh, there's the wave. Okay, there it is. Come on, baby. Get him. Yeah. Let's go, monkey. Dude, Monkey's kicking butt. It was all worth it to level him up. It was all worth Swift? Hello. Taylor Swift up in here. Uh, now, that might be better than Headbutt. It never misses, but Headbutt make, can make him flinch. I'll get rid of Tail Whip for this one. I'm sure that Monkey's special is higher than his physical. So, Swift is the better option to use. Whoa, when he's paralyzed, he turned... What the, what, what the fuck is going on right there? Monkey. It will take away the paralyzed status and you can battle again. Why is he turning all bright? It's like too bright. Okay, I guess I'll use my items again. Potion on Munkus. And then I guess paralyze heal. I don't need to use a full heal when I've already got a paralyze heal. That was so cool. Look at him. He's like Super Saiyan back there now. Okay, we got one more to fight. Making an opponent's Pokemon fall asleep can help get you far in battle. It's easy. I'll show you. Thank you. Thank you so much, school kid Polly. I really appreciate what you're doing here. But, um,. Don't do it anymore, please. Don't... Okay, cool. He's not putting me to sleep. Thank you for not doing that. Oh, yeah. While I'm here, let me uh, check my stats. What are his... His special is higher than his physical. Although, that didn't do a whole lot, whole lot of damage right now. So this thing might have low physical defense. I gotta consider their defensive stats as well. That's pretty good. Uh, although, it's not as good right now. If Headbutt is not nearly as good if you're going second, because that chance to flinch is a big deal. Those flinch moves really only matter if you're going first. If there was a priority flinch move, that'd be busted. I would use it. Oh man, I still lost. I mean, I guess there are priority flinch moves, huh? Like Fake Out? That's one. But it does, like, not a whole lot of damage. Take this Awakening. Thank you so much, youngster. You have been destroyed. You've all been destroyed. It will make your Pokemon wake up if it's been... Po I, I know. Thank you so much, though. Well, well, you've beaten all my students. His voice keeps changing every time, every time I talk to him. He's like, well, well, you've beaten all my students. As promised, here's your reward for beating them. Clippers? Oh, it's not even cut. It's just an item that I can use, which is genius. I like it when games do this. You don't know what this is? Let me explain. Not a long time ago, Pokemon trainers used so-called hidden machines to teach Pokemon special moves to interact with the environment. Many traders used one Pokemon as a so-called HM slave. I, I, I did that when I played uh, Fire and Leaf Green. I had a Geodude. So to prevent this, some special items were created to replace the hidden machines. One of them is these clippers here. Okay, the joke's dead. <laughs> it allows you to cut down bushes and other stuff like you could with HM Cut. I don't need this one anymore. My daughter has one too. I hope these clippers will help you on your journey. They will! Thank you, man! Ugh! Oh. Thank you to the man for giving me the clippers. And thank you for watching this episode. And thank you, Monkey, for the honey. That was a pretty sweet item pickup. Hey, hey, hey. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And, uh, yeah, have a good one.